we had issues um, with advertising quite a bit on the show. When it became popular, there was there were a lot of drug manufacturers and equipment manufacturers who were major in the retail sector, were like Johnson & Johnson, were major um, advertisers on the show with NBC. And they would come to us from the sales department and ask us <clears throat> to, I don't know the history between Johnson & Johnson and, and NBC, so I don't know how it happened at that end, uh, but they would come and sort of say, um, hey, we're gonna, they're going to buy all this advertising time, but will you put this product into the show? That's one thing when the product is a Pop-Tart. You can have a conversation about whether or not that Pop-Tart is good for the health of children or not, but it's a Pop-Tart, right? <laughs> they were coming at us saying, we need you to publicize this new diabetic kit that's available. And then we would do the research on the kit, um, and I don't remember if that was Johnson & Johnson or not, so I don't want to accuse him directly, <clears throat> but we did the the research on the kit, I'd go to the doctors and say, well, what's this kit that they want us to publicize, put into the show? And, you know, in one instance, Joe came back <clears throat> and said, um, well, it's a good product. Uh, it costs, it's basically structured so that something that's very inexpensive becomes something that's very expensive for diabetics. Um, so real world comparison of is it valuable or not Yes, it's probably a little easier for people. Will most people be able to afford it? No. Um, and we're in an urban hospital dealing with diabetics who are oftentimes on welfare and food stamps and have significant health problems. And are this is this a product that one of our doctors would ever recommend to that patient? No, not in a million years. I go back and say, well, blah, blah, blah sales department very very unhappy i start getting conversations or calls from the network uh you know president saying you do understand that this is millions of dollars so then suddenly you're like i'm just trying to do a little show about medicine on thursday nights guys i do not want to be in the midst of this we had another where someone wanted us to put a, st a certain kind of stent in a you know in a surgical procedure a heart stent a new heart stent uh, we did some research on it, and they were wanted to give us a whole bunch of money for their commercial products, the retail products that they could actually advertise on the show. Substantial. Many of these companies have over-the-counter things that can be advertised on the show, uh, you know, in the commercial breaks, and then also things you would never do, like surgical stents. They're willing to do more advertising for their retail products if we push the surgical stent. We start to do some research on the surgical stent. It's a little controversial. They think there may be some infections that can come from the insertion of the surgical stent. Um, I say no. They say yes. Uh, there's a lot of pressure put on Warner Brothers. We came back with a huge presentation about what we thought the clinical problems were. And, and, you know, um, and we're still just trying to do a show on Thursday nights. I mean, we're still trying to get through all this while this is all going on. Um, and I said as long as everyone in this room is prepared to completely, um, to give us complete and utter assurances legally, I'll have people draw it up, that anything that happens that we are free and clear and have warned you about the dangers of this product. And I will publicize that if anything happens to this product. I will say, you forced me to put it into the show and I told you that it was a dangerous product and this is how commerce works. And I'll go to Congress and say it. I'll go anywhere and say it. Uh, and then they said, fuck you, and left and didn't bring it up anymore. And less than a year later, I'm not, this was the doctors on the shows who said we have to do this. I just was the kind of the point person for it. A year later, they pulled it from the market. A lot of people had died from this product. So we're in this weird world with this mass entertainment in which you're actually affecting things that we have to be. Uh, cognizant of the power that the medium has. Mm -hmm. um, again, not to overstate it, but you also have to not understate it and pretend like it doesn't exist.